Hi, my name is Tom and I'm going to present you a short video of my camper van conversion. Here is the crafter I converted. It's a medium wheelbase one. So it's a shorter version. It's not that long. Underneath is the gas uh, tank which contains 25 liters of gas it's quite a lot here is the entry point for the gas LPG there's a spare wheel carrier at the back there's a Fiamma F80 owning you can see a reverse camera here. And this is the driver's side. The extension pot was added just to make uh, the bed larger, just to, uh, so that we could be able to fit a standard UK double bed. Here is a gas flue vent for a Truma boiler. And here, and here is uh, entry for the water. This is how you put the water into the tank. Uh, the water tank is located under the van. Uh, both fresh water and waste water tanks are, are um, under the van. So this is how it looks outside. It's quite cold here in the Hope Valley in Peak District. So. So maybe before going inside, I'll show you the garage. Okay, let's just have a quick look at the garage area. So this is the garage. There is approximately 175 centimeters across. The height is around 80 centimeters and the width is around 70 centimeters. There is a fire extinguisher. So inside behind that opening, uh, there is a brain, heart and stomach of the van. That means there is a combi, Truma Combi boiler which heats water and, and air inside the van. There is a laser battery, quite a big one, with a, with a control panel as well as the um, water pumps. Okay, so we are inside now. It's much more pleasant here. Outside is just one degree. Uh, here is uh, comfortable 20 degrees. So I'll show you around inside the van. So here we've got two front swiver seats facing towards the, the inside of the van. Here there is a table with two extra seats added with seat belts. So in total five passengers can travel. Underneath there is a USB charger and underneath the table and Here just just when we enter the van through the sliding door. There is a fridge All brand new as you can see so that there's the fridge Here uh, this this window opens we can open it in the summer for example now. It's a bit too cold for that uh, there is a chopping board which extends on the bracket. There is a tap with water. Underneath there is some extra storage. And then there is a cooker. My breakfast is just getting ready. So um, there is a hop but also there is a cooker. So still brand new, never used. So you can do a pizza or chicken or sour dough breath here and underneath there is a, a sliding out bin quite a big one so you can actually um, recycle and then here next to the bin there is an inverter power inverter uh, and the device helps us to transform 
energy from 12 uh, volts into 230, which means you can plug in your laptop or, um, or your hair dryer, for example. Here there is a vent with a, uh, hot air coming out and heating the van. Another one is, is over here. And here we've got a, a shower and a toilet area. There is a, a curtain. And inside we've got a shower and a toilet. The toilet is porta potty, so it's removable. So you just, if you want to take a shower, you just take it out. And there is a, um, a support on which it rests. You just take it out, and this is how you can take the shower. Yeah. So that's that's the that's the toilet. That's the shower area. There is a separate light here also and just above the cooker there is a, a bit of a control panel this is the control for the truma uh, this is how you can set your your temperature your van temperature like 20 degrees 21 whatever you want as well as hot water you can turn it off you can put an eco or hot mode or just boost it so whatever you prefer so that's the that's the that's the truma here there is a display for our laser battery the laser battery is uh, is charged from the solar power panels which are located um, on the roof uh, as well as from the main battery when when driving when driving the van we can, we can charge it from the main car battery van battery yeah? So this is, this is how we can do it. There is also an extra USB here and an extra USB here and a switch for a, a water pump. A few, few, few more words about the van. The, the bed is still brand new. It's in the, the mattress is brand new. It's in, uh, it's in the film. I just had to test it basically. So, so this, I, I slept it overnight, but I kept the, the film. Uh, inside, as you can see, there is a plenty, plenty of wood. Uh, ceiling is in wooden panels. There are wooden panels there, here and there. I really don't like all those vans which are like full of carpet. I really like wood, that's why I designed it with the wood in mind, which gives you a very natural uh, feeling. And actually, uh, people when they enter the van, first thing they say, it's they say, "Wow, it smells nice." Yes, of course, because it's wood. It's natural, yeah. So not so much carpet, a lot of wood though. Uh, there's a maxi fan v um, here, vent, and it blows air in or out, depending whether you cook or whether you want a bit of uh, fresh air from the outside. And obviously there's a uh, loads of storage, loads of storage here and there as well. Uh, yes, I guess I covered everything. Uh, so this is how it looks like. Uh, yeah, okay, I guess my breakfast is nearly ready, so thanks for watching.